Slow up now. Yep. Oh my god, why? Where are you going? Good All right, Lord. girl. Help! Got gotcha you now. Help! No you squirming, lady. See, that was a lot Somebody easier. Help me. help me, help me. Let's loot ya. So, what you got for me? Just some bitters. Oh God. That's some. <laughs> Lawman offer wins again. You can't beat the lawman. <laughs> I am the law. I am the law. Okay, so we're going to rob a house. Or, shall we say, reacquire items from a house for an individual who had his house taken off of him. Um, so we're going to go and uh, do that. I haven't been robbed anymore. Which is a good thing. shotgun in just in case why well, am I climbing down into the well I don't know, but I seem to make a little bit of money from doing that. <laughs> People obviously throwing coins into the old wishing well. Stay here. Search the house, Compton's watch, pistol, and ledger. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items herein to the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. find a way in cigarette card stars of the stage
Avenger, watch. Pistol. Kentucky Bourbon. Close the cabinet, Arthur. Makes it a little bit easier. June 7th, 1855. Dear Sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. Nice old fella. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Oh, bloke got canned. He did. There's his watch. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Cigarettes. Famous gunslinger's card. Butcher Brothers. What have we got here then? Another letter? Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Okay, where's all this old crap? God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. Rance. Ah, oh, 
trap door, huh? <laughs> what you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, oh God damn it. damn it! Come on, man! Where are you going? Oh. Come on! It's ours! How bitch, <sighs> Pistol? Uh, just the ledger now. Back the ladder? There's a hat. Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. Can I not have the hat? Dude's got some kind of dungeon. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. God. The cupboard. Examine the ledger. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise. $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. Wow. I don't think that hat really suits me.
them. I'll fill that. My um, search cupboard. That's it. Nothing in there. Daytime. Oh, wow. That was the, um, the barn that we hid in when we got into a battle with, was it Cornwall's man? We won't call them Bill and John. Hey there, girl. Or was it Charles? It was Charles, wasn't it? Yeah. It wasn't John. Go talk to Jeremiah. Do you want to ask the son? Saying that it's just it's all it's all going to hell. Rack and ruin. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect. Accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards have changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Oh, man. Some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, do you... They are for Ooh, pissing What off. are you doing? That's, that's my history. Damn you! Damn you! I still exist! <laughs> oh. Him. Here. Um, where are we heading next, then, Halsey? Let's have a look at the map, shall we? Well, John and Hosea don't seem to be around anywhere now. Um, so I guess we're going to go talk to Mr. Mason again. So, 
Hold up. Come on, Helgi. Yep. We don't want to be on the train tracks for too long. Just in case the old train decides to come. Runners over. But yeah, it was interesting. The guy obviously got replaced by time over time. Um, doing what he did, and um, didn't take it very well. As I'm guessing most people probably wouldn't in that situation if one day you turn oh, up it's you. Come here, please. you can see the bind I'm in I need help again, again? come on okay okay fine I know this doesn't look good but I swear I didn't do nothing wrong all right Second yes. time's the charm. I can't believe it. Oh, I thought they were never coming off this time. I'd be done without you, that's for sure. I'll owe you till the end. Maybe someday I'll make it up to you. In some way. If I'm ever looking to collect, I'll just hang around the sheriff's office. I'm sure you'll show up sooner or later. I'll be looking for you something fierce. They won't find me. Not this time. Yeah, I believe that. Why is it though, I have this strange feeling in my brain that if ever I was in that situation whereby I was chained on the run from the law No one would help me out. Yeah. No one would shoot off my chains and set me free. Maybe I'm being far too nice to some of these folk. But yeah, we'll go see Albert Mason because it's always fun talking to that guy. Yeah. See what he's trying to, what mischief he's trying to get himself into today. Yeah. What he's trying to get himself eaten by today probably is the better way of stating that. Bison. Where 
Who's Albert Mason hiding? I mean, if John doesn't actually show up anytime soon, on John and Hosea, the only other thing I'm likely to have to do is travel all the way back up north and see if I can't get that bounty. Mr. Mason? Easy, easy. He is indeed. Stay, girl. It's almost like I'm flying. What are you trying to shoot this time, fella? Mr. Mason? Oh, oh. And he nearly Mr. fell off the Mark. cliff. You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, that's my pleasure. P please, you step away from the cliff edge. But I'm trying to get an eagle there. there. Yeah, they're beautiful. But unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. Dude, yes, come uh, away. Quite Please. Quite. Quite. Oh, oh. Ah, damn! <sighs> You're right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery! Come here! Oh, 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 thank you. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know, I really did get some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh. I've got a feeling, you know, crazy as this sounds, We are near Horseshoe Overlook. Our old camp. Our old camp. We are nearly back at our old place. some predator bait down. And we'll go over here. And see what rocks up. Hopefully we can get an eagle rocking up.
Horizons. Be too close. It's just a raven. What well, I am interested in knowing. Let's go, girl. Let's move you a bit further away from the predator bait. Easy now. Wait, girl. I don't think anything wanted my my bait. Driscoll's. I suppose I've got to do that mission at some point where I've got to
come do that thing where I shoot somebody from 660 feet. Not entirely sure if it needs to be an enemy though. Or whether, you know, just shooting some poor schmuck. Out for a ride on a horse works. I don't know if I was too far away. I didn't get a thing. Pop up. Telling me. But, um... That's ridiculous. No one could have seen it possibly be me. Literally, no one could have seen me do that. Let's go back to camp. Yeah. Before I get into myself into any more trouble.
Raining. Run over the turkey. Dumbass. Good to see you back, Arthur. You don't look right dressed as the law. Oh, I still haven't le loosed off an arrow, have I? That was what I was meant to do at some point, was take something out with a poison arrow. So I could pick up those ones from near my bloody, um... tent morning what you doing Tilly not the Miss Grimshaw that's right nothing you're useless you're worse than useless you're a parasite you're a worm ridiculous get ready but I don't want to work Miss Grimshaw I don't feel right I don't care what you feel girl get ready these girls, Mr. Morgan. It's a shame they were princesses in fairy tales. Well, it, it looks like they found their fairy godmother. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Fine, whatever. Morning, Tim. Morning, Arthur. Doing a good job there. Thank you. Sorry, shouldn't distract you. All right, Arthur. Tell you what is weird, Karen here. Good morning, I watched Arthur. a podcast the other night featuring the actress that played her. I wish. And well, Karen looks absolutely nothing down. like the actress okay. that plays the role. And more to the point, doesn't sound anything like the woman who played the role. Morning, morning Arthur. Working um, hard there. Somebody's it's strange be. that there's only literally out of all the people, all, right, well, all the actors that, that, that um, were involved in the sure. making of this game and the creation of this game, there's only um, like Rob Wheatoff who plays John Marston and uh, Benjamin Davis who plays Dutch, who the minute they open their mouths you know it's Dutch, John and Dutch. Because they sound like Mr. them. Morgan. Morgan. This is not what I want to deal with right now, okay? Well, excuse me. Yeah, excuse you. You're excused. Who you gonna talk, Sean? Ah, uh, there he is. England's finest. <laughs> Don't irritate me, boy. The truth hurts, don't it? All right. You 
Behaving yourself? Of course. All right, well, that's something. All right, then. So it would appear I'm missing a quest. That probably means whiskey kind of morning. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do the whole saving and reloading thing because the quest I want to do with Javier and John morning, has Arthur. disappeared. So you told Jose about the moonshine? Yes, he's got some plan cooking. Good. All right. Well, I should be getting on. All right. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end this episode a little bit earlier than some of the recent ones because I've got to do a save and reload to get the um, the quest back because sometimes the game glitches out and loses track of your, um, your quests. So I will bring you guys back in the next episode where hopefully I've fixed the, um, the mission markers. I'm also going to fix my outfit.